Super Fun Stuff. Welcome to Super Fun Stuff. In this print and paint video, we create a custom piece of one of the strongest Marvel heroes. I think my clues may have been too easy this time, but let's see if you can guess it. This character has immense power. He can both dish out the pain and resist the beating. He has kind of a crazy family and has been a huge part of the Marvel Universe. He's battled the likes of Hulk and actually stood a chance. And you loved him in the comics and the movies. Any guess who? And you probably got it right. It's the mighty Thor. What's there to say about Thor that you don't already know? He's the god of thunder and lightning who wields a large hammer called Mjolnir. He is one of the original Avengers and next to Hulk, the strongest Avenger. He's battled cosmic beings and an overall badass. So what model did I print? Well, there are several Thor models out there, most of which are movie based. This one by Sanex of Malik's 3D design was a pretty good sculpt, but it's definitely based on the Avenger movies. So I figured, let's give it a makeover. First, I need a head. I found this great 3D bust sculpt of Thor created by Awesome A. It definitely went the classic route, which is what I wanted. On top of that, I needed something to hold the floating Thor up. So I found this pillar room by Size Guru 11. It fit perfect. But Thor needs something. Well, he is a god of lightning, so let's add some. So this was a little more tricky. It's hard to find good 3D models of lightning. However, tree branches and roots are very similar. So I took this woman tree by Zoom 1234 Micron, and I'll be using that for the lightning. So after putting all the pieces together and manually sculpting areas, what did we end up with? Well, here's what I made. It's a more classic Thor calling down the lightning while flying into the air. It took a few days to get things right and merged together correctly, but he ended up better than I anticipated. This is one of my favorite Thor 3D models now. Unfortunately, due to licensing, I don't know if I'll be able to share it, but I'll check into that. On top of the unique sculpt, I decided to try a little different approach in painting him. This time I print him out in a clear resin. Clear resin tends to be a little more brittle, and it's really hard to see the details, but the idea is to keep certain areas more translucent. First step, since this piece has a lot of pokey bits, I decided to base him right away. I put him on a cork base and add a few extra cork pieces. He is already pretty complex, so I keep it pretty simple. Now to apply some primer. This time I opt for using a brush. I first go around the base and apply the primer all over. Next I go to Thor. Here is where I get a little more selective about where I put the primer. I leave the lightning and where the lightning hits his body unprimer. Other areas I apply the primer normally. I want to give the effect that the lightning is super powerful in these areas and you can kind of see through it. After the primer, I notice that I still have some rough areas, so I smooth those out using my Zacto knife. With the primer done, I decide to go a different route with the painting. I apply a blue wash to the translucent parts first. This gives a blue hue to the lightning, but still keeps it transparent. Now we go to the base colors. The word's pretty basic. I start with a bright blue for his outfit. I'm careful not to get any on the lightning. Then I go into his skin color and his hair. Next, to his red cape followed by gold. Instead of yellow like in some of the old comics, I decided to go with gold. And lastly, silver. To finish up the base, I apply a pewter gray, again being very careful of the lightning. Continuing the base, I apply a strong wash all over. Since I'm messing with the washes, I start to add some on Thor himself. I add a flesh wash for the skin, then a strong wash for the cape and the gold parts, and lastly, a black wash for the blue and silver parts. So far so good. Thor is looking really good. I'm still amazed at how well washes work to outline details, but let's continue. To knock it out, I complete the base using dry brush and pigments, just like the other ones I did before. With the base fairly done already, I decide I want to accent it a bit more. Since there is lightning, I decide to add a little bit of the glow effect. So I take the electric blue I had and dry brush around the spots where the lightning is near. I then take a white and do a similar dry brushing around these spots. Now to the highlights. I start with the blue and go around and accent certain areas. I go with a lighter flesh color and accent his skin. I go around the gold and make it a tad brighter in spots as well. I add some silver on certain areas too to make it even brighter. Then I hit the silver spots and make them bright. Then for the cape, I hit it with a brighter red and a lava orange for color. And he's done. Well, almost. Now let's add some details. Remember the spots I left on him around his body? Let's make them more interesting. I take the smaller brush and add weird little patterns around it. I try to make them random and spreading all over. Add some on the bottom of the base as well. And here he is. Thor turned out pretty good. It was a lot of fun creating a custom sculpt and going the route of clear resin. 
The clear lighting really gives a cool effect that the painting just wouldn't do. I think my favorite part of this is just how dynamic everything is. There's so much cool things happening that it keeps you interested. Plus, I like the classic Thor. Oh, and some of these things are pretty fragile. But right as I finished him, I snapped Mjolnir off. I got it back on okay, but that was not a proud moment. Thor is complete. I hope you liked this video. I had a really good time making them. For the next one, I think I'll be doing a villain. This character has battled some powerful mutants and can even take a direct attack from Wolverine. He's a psychopath, a killer, and likes to drain his enemies. An experiment gone wrong, he makes for a great bad guy. Thank you to all my patrons and supporters, and thank you for watching.